You know, St. Louis is an incredible community. We're gonna show some of the great leaders in our community, the businesses that are here, the groups, organizations, and charities that make it so awesome. We'll do this right here live for you on the Cardinal Cowboy Show. Giddy up. We're sitting with Scott Worley, owner of Scenic Route Landscape and Design. Some incredible work I've seen you've done there, Scott. Welcome to the show. How are you doing today? Well, thank you. So tell us, why did you decide to get into the landscape business? I got into the business uh, after I graduated college, and I was provided an opportunity to, uh, to join with someone and, and launch a branch of his company. And so it was a dual opportunity, really. I got to both get to feel what it's like to be at the ground floor of something new, but also uh, be able to work with someone who had some experience. What, what, what gets you out of bed every day? Why, why is it you saying, I love what I do here? What is it about this doing today? You know, we get to create these spaces outside that uh, people can entertain at, or they can, um, they can have a tranquil space to just enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning and watch the sunrise. And so getting to create those spaces for people and then seeing their faces uh, whenever they see the finished project, that, was, that is, uh, that's what that's what keeps me going. <laughs> yeah. So, what is it you say you do better or different? What really sets you apart? What, what do you say, man? This is what I can do that you won't get anywhere else. What I believe sets us apart is that we don't just listen to what you'd like to do for your landscape project. We listen to the why. Some people they don't want a large project. They just want something small and quaint and tranquil that they can go out and enjoy just them and their spouse. Uh, other people want a place where they can sit outside and watch their kids play uh, with the other parents. And then others want to entertain. And so we uh, get to listen to those um, reasons why and it helps us uh, shape how we, uh, we design their project. Let's take a look at a couple of the projects you've worked on here. There's your logo. Tell us a little bit about this particular. So this is the water feature and uh, before they just had a flat backyard and so from the excavation from where the pond is we use that to build up and create elevation differences then we also use some inspiration where we saw a bridge over the water feature and they had this walking pass so we used a piece of stone to bridge over the water feature and we put lights inside of the water feature as well so you get to walk over it and you get to interact with it a little bit and so they've got that nice tranquil sound they'll be able to come outside and sit and, uh, and enjoy their evening, and uh, it's quite quite a highlight piece. Well, waterfalls are exciting. I love the bridge there. I didn't realize mm -hmm. that. That's a, that's a pretty neat design. What about this one? This was one of our favorite projects. Uh, the concrete was already existingly there, and so that made it a challenge to get things like the uh, wiring and electrical to this free island here in the middle, but their request was uh, to be able to seat a lot of people at the bar because they entertain often. And so it's a natural gas grill. They can just walk up and turn the dial and they're ready to start cooking. And they've got the cooking space on both sides of the grill to do that. And then lots of bar space to uh, mix drinks, to prepare food and to entertain. That looks great, yeah. And, yeah. I love that grill. <laughs> wow, Scott, great information. Thanks for being on the show. Stay tuned to the Cardinal Cowboy Show. Ballpark Village, where all the best fans in baseball get to hang out. Stay tuned, we've got some incredible leaders from the St. Louis community that make St. Louis so awesome. Back to the studio. If you'd like to be on our show, go to cardinalcowboy.com.